Hey guys, my name is Daryl, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Google AdSense onto your WordPress website so you can start making money. Now, Google AdSense has really improved their user interface. They've actually also changed the different style of ads that you can add. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can properly add them to your WordPress website. So this is an example of something that you're gonna see. So this is my blog page. On the right side, you can see right here, there's an advertisement. And also you can add ads uh, if you scroll down in between your blog posts. So right here, you can actually set up ads uh, to show up in between your content. You can basically add it to wherever you want. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and run you guys through on how to add it. It's very simple, it's very fast. Now the first thing you'll have to do is go to uh, Google AdSense. I'll put this link in the description. This is a free sign up. You know, it doesn't cost anything to join uh, Google AdSense. So you can go to sign up now. And there's quite a bit of ways to do it, guys. Like they're gonna ask you a bunch of questions regarding your website. Now, I already have an AdSense account. And unfortunately, before you can have multiple AdSense accounts. Now you can only have one. So usually I would make a test, a test one. However, now there's only uh, one available for each account, okay? So you're gonna have to go ahead and create your uh, AdSense account and then go through the process of like verifying your email and everything. And uh, once you're done with that, you'll be brought to a page it might not look like this. It'll probably just be empty, like total earnings. That you won't see any of this stuff there. But uh, this is the overall dashboard for Google AdSense. Now, there's three kinds of ads that Google AdSense actually just released. Before, it was just text ad and display ad. So this was basically the, the only option you had before. And basically what this would do, would you would put it on your WordPress website and it would display something that looks like this right here. So this is basically what it is. But they've actually added two other type of advertisements. Uh, one of them right here will actually uh, go before, I'm sorry, go in between your actual blog post and one will actually go in between your content. Now I'm going to give you my personal opinion about one of these ads and why I do not recommend them. The other two I do recommend. But the first thing you guys have to do is when you guys create your AdSense account, guys, it's very important to verify all your information before you start even starting to um, post the AdSense onto your website. So if you go to your settings, they have account verification. So I believe they start doing like pins where basically um, they will send you like a pin to your to your house or your information. It arrives like in two weeks and you have to basically like verify all your information about it. Don't worry about the advertisement, like money, revenue. It takes probably like two to three weeks for them to pay you anyways. So don't feel like you're missing out on money. Uh, they will basically uh, hold it as like a bank account kind of, all your ad that you've actually made since you posted it. But later on, uh, they will actually uh, deduct it or they'll pay you for the account, so it's later. So go ahead and go to your personal settings, put all your information in, uh, your account information, all this, you know, all this stuff, whatever they're asking for, and also for payments. So this is also very important because they're actually going to do like test payments. So they're gonna basically make sure that uh, you have a legitimate checking account. It's not like fake or anything like that. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and go through the process of setting up your bank account information with AdSense. And once you're done with like the verification process and everything else, then you can go ahead and post advertisements and Google AdSense is going to automatically pay you once a month for all the people who actually go on your website and actually just look at the ads. You know, they actually have the, um, the ability to pay you based off impressions now, which is what most people do now. So basically right here, this is like my total earnings right here. Now this is actually, um, you know, these are actually like a mixture from various websites and my YouTube channel. But um, if you guys go ahead and go to my ads right here, you guys will see like there'll be nothing here for you. And then right here, you'll see you have new ad unit. And then if you click on it, it'll bring you to this page right here, okay? So let me go ahead and explain what each of these are. So the text and display ads, these are the ads right here, okay? And you can easily insert these on your widgets. This one right here, the in feed ad, if you wanna click on uh, select and then view example, they actually show you what it will look like when someone visits your website and sees the advertisements. And lastly, you have the in article ads, which is if you select it, you can actually see, you can post this in between your content. Now, Google is going to basically determine what kind of website you are and mark it appropriately. So you basically have no control over who is advertising on your website, okay? So right here, let's first do the text and display ads. So I'm gonna go select this and we have all these different sizes. Now, 
I recommend the responsive because with the responsive, it's basically going to generate advertisements from different advertisers depending on what they put and it'll accommodate it on your website. And if you ever go to your website and you kind of refresh the page or you kind of like check around, you know, like a one day or two days, they actually change. So different advertisers according to your niche will market on your website. And again, you have no control over this and I don't think you'd want to like, you know, close the ads because you know, people are, you know, paying to be on your website, you know, you don't want to sit there and say, no, you can't be on it. Like I have, uh, you know, Template Monster, Best Buy. I had Ty Lopez on for a while, Squarespace, all these different like web hosting and, and website stuff. So basically you can go ahead and just like, you know, I'm gonna put uh, Paddywhack, give it a name. So I'm gonna name my advertisement Paddywhack. Now you can also do like leaderboard and rectangle and everything else, but I personally wouldn't use these because the responsive makes it so much easier. And also it works for the phone. So it's, it's basically like what people do now, you know? So text ad style. Now this is also a newer feature that Google AdSense has released. So before when you, you'd go to a website, they'd have like those little scammy kind of text ads on your website and it made your site look kind of scammy and it makes it look kind of bad. Google AdSense kind of realized this and they said, you know what, let's go ahead and allow people to customize their advertisement. So right here you can kind of like, you know, decide to like, you know, I want to go ahead and give it these colors or, you know, whatever you want. So people can go ahead and, you know, use these. Now these ads will only work if somebody advertises and does not use like their own images. So if they use the defaults, they use a text ad, which some people still use, it's going to show up like this, okay? So um, most people today use images, guys, so you don't have to worry about it, but just for, you know, true purposes, like, um, you know, you might want to decorate your advertisement because people who do not upload their own images uh, and use like the stock Google AdWords, it's gonna show up like this. So basically, you can just change how it looks, okay? But you can never change this right here because remember, the advertiser has control over this. So you can just basically control how you want the ad to look on your website. And custom channels, they have like this new like interface where you can actually like do by groups and like kind of track it better. I don't use it too much. Uh, most people who are beginning or, you know, don't have like mega millions of traffic, so <laughs> wouldn't use it. So most of you would not use channels, but you guys can always learn more about it by creating a custom channel and determining like how good that specific channel is with like, you know, traffic and clickability. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And then right here, if no ads are available, uh, collapse, but we're not going to do that because you know, that's, we're not gonna do that, all right? So right here, we're just gonna go, go ahead and click on save and get code, all right? So you get this script right here. You get this piece of script. Now it's really simple guys. All you need to do is go ahead and put this onto a text widget in WordPress, all right? So for example, we have this sidebar right here. Now I'm gonna go to my widgets right here. And then I'm gonna scroll down. Now under the sidebar right here, all you need to do is go ahead and take a text widget, which is this one right here, the arbitrary text, and drag it up right here. And then simply go ahead and just paste the code in there. Now guys, there's two tabs. There's the visual and there's the text. Paste it in the text, okay? So just go ahead and simply, you know, copy this and paste it and then click on save, okay? And as a result, when you go back to your website, now it might not show up right away, guys. So don't panic. I've had a lot of people say it doesn't show up right away. Uh, that's a very, very common thing. Uh, one of the things is that if your site's like, uh, if it's not verified or your account verification is still in process, they may or may not show it. It depends on basically how they kind of feel. You know, Google AdSense is so large, they really don't have time to sit there and go through each and every website. However, Google AdSense does have a support forum. So you guys can actually go like, just type in like Google support forum or the AdSense support forum. They also have like a little question mark thing here. You know, they have tons of questions and remember they have a help form. So uh, let's say for example, you keep trying it and keep trying it, it doesn't work. Uh, just go ahead and visit the help support forum and they should be able to help you with some of your questions, you know, but make sure your account is verified. That's probably one of the most common things is uh, you need to get your account set up before I think I think the ads will stop showing up. I'm not sure, they change their policy like, every like three months. It's really hard to keep up on Google's uh, terms and conditions, you know? So basically we have this, uh, let's go back to my blog. Let's go check it out. So let's go ahead and go to this blog post right here. So that is basically how you guys set up this right here. Okay, so now by default, they're going to display advertisements on the sidebar. So let's say you wanna go ahead and add it somewhere, like if I'm scrolling down and then you see this. Let's say you wanna go ahead and add this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Now, there is one thing I wanna talk about since we're talking about advertisements and everything. 
I believe the in-feed ads, let me see this one. Yeah, the in-feed ads, guys, I do not recommend. In fact, I'm very against this because this can actually trick the people on your website. So let's say, for example, you go to the websites and then you see something like this right here. You know, it's like, okay, cool, look at these blog posts and they see this right here. So this is an ad, but it's kind of disguised as an ad. So these are your basic blog posts and then this is the advertisement. I mean, do you really want to trick people on your website to be clicking on ads? Because are they gonna come back to your website if that happens to them? Probably not. They're probably gonna feel like, you know what, that site's a scammy website. They got a bunch of advertisements on their blog posts. And I, I don't even know which one's in a blog. I, I don't know what this is, I'm leaving, you know? And just like that, you've lost traffic. So this ad right here, the new in feed ad, I don't recommend because you're almost tricking your audience into clicking the advertisements. So that's my personal opinion. You're still more than welcome to have it. However, this ad is actually more of a learning curve. They actually have a little support form on how to add this because you actually have to use a plugin or you have to actually manually enter in this enter this into your HTML because it is a little bit more complicated. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can actually read their little like article on how to actually use it. Um, it is a little bit more difficult than the other ones. It's not really copy and paste. You have to paste it onto a certain area. And basically it's going to show up between your posts. Now, I don't really know how that's possible because I'm using the Divi theme and I have a custom blog type. So it will not show up in between no matter what. But for those of you using WordPress, you know, uh, like those default themes, like the, the really, really basic default ones, uh, it could possibly work. But uh, seeing how it's kind of like an experimental thing, I wouldn't even use it because I don't want to break my theme. I don't want any problems with it. So if I posted it in between this right here, I don't know how it's going to show up. It would look horrible. It wouldn't, even, it would not look like this. You know, it would, it would be like a little, like, it'd be really glitchy. And it's like, no, no, hell no, no, we're not doing that. So anyways, so that is basically the new in feed ad. Okay. And the in article ads, which I do recommend a lot of websites do this is basically showing it in between your content. So right here, I'm gonna go to select and you guys can always, you know, they've made it so user friendly, you know, hats off to Google AdSense before it was a nightmare because you couldn't customize the ads, you know, you couldn't really control how it looked, but they really want to make it like advertiser friendly. So right here, you go, you go ahead and give me the name. So this is like Patty Wackers. And then right here, you guys can change the style and they have all these different fonts now. So I'm using Roboto. So right here, I can use Roboto lights. And then right here, you can do like the title color. You, know, you can kind of decorate the ad. So they give you a little preview of it right here. And then the, the description, background. Okay, background, that would look kind of tacky. Yeah, that, that looks scammy. You know, that looks like the, the, you know, like those old like PayPal donate buttons back in the day, they were really scammy and old. That's kind of what it looks like. So <laughs> I'm not gonna add that, you know. And then, you know, Google optimize styles. This is probably the optimize it for different devices and stuff like that. So, or leave this option if Google to optimize the colors and your front ad. Well, it's up to you guys if you wanna have that. It looks like they basically can optimize the colors depending on how your website looks. But then again, I'm not really sure. I'd rather have more control over it than Google doing it for me because they've never seen my website. So I don't know if I'd leave that checked or not. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and get code. All right, now I already made an ad that just here, I'll do, do it like this, save and get code. All right, and then simply you would take this right here and go ahead and copy this and go back to one of your blog posts. So this is like my, I teach WordPress tutorials. So uh, right here, I'm gonna go to edit post. Okay, now you're going to, depending on your theme, uh, basically, you're just going to go to like your text like this, you know, I, actually, you know, I'll make it much easier because some of you may not be using the Divi theme. So I'm actually going to use um, this, this advert, this post instead, because I'm not using the theme customizer or the Divi builder. I mean, so I'm going to go to edit this post. So most of you or some of you may see it to look just like this right here, right? Where you have all this stuff. You're going to click on the text. Okay. Not the visual, the text. It must be on the text or it will not work. And then you're simply just gonna go ahead and you know, like right here, I have my, my ad. So wherever you want your ad, just go ahead and paste the code in there. And that's it. And make sure to make some spaces so you know it doesn't interfere with your text because the last thing you want is your content to start looking bad or scammy because you know you place it in, like on the wrong spot and then people, you know, are like, oh, this is a scammy site, you know, too many ads. 
you know, I always leave websites that have too many ads. You know, like when I go to those like um, those media websites, like for to get your news or something, those websites today are filled with advertisements. Like the videos start playing in the background, you start hearing video. It's so annoying, you know? So I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna go to that website because they have way too many ads. You don't wanna be that website, guys. You know, posting one here, one there is always good. But, uh, you know, having, you know, having ads all over your website is not good. So here is the advertisement now. So it's displaying in between this. And again, you guys probably will be paid based off impressions because AdSense or advertisers do pay based off impressions. So I think they pay, I think you get like a bonus. If you get like, if someone clicks on it, you get paid a little more. I think it's like a few extra cents more. I'm not really sure, you know, it's, it's really hard to keep up with AdSense and all their policies and stuff. So uh, that's basically a rundown guys of Google AdSense. So, you know, make sure to actually you know, go through a lot of these and check them out. Really go through each option, guys. If you don't understand it, read it and really like kind of learn about how this works. So this is like my, my performance page right here. It shows me my page views, my impressions, my clicks, etc. So you'd want to go through each and every one of these just to make sure that you understand. They also have like opportunities and experiments where basically like, you know, if you're trying to improve something or you're trying to make something work, they have all sorts of options and experiments you can kind of mess around with. And they also have like one for, um, you know, like those like porno websites or gambling. They also have like, you know, like a special ads for those, you know, because those people have a really hard problem for their ads to show, you know, because you really don't want porno ads and, and, and casino ads everywhere. So that's basically a quick rundown, guys, of how you guys, you know, use Google AdSense. It's very simple. It's just a matter of copying and pasting. There are some plugins for Google AdSense, but... I don't feel the re reason to you know use it because it's just copy and paste, and then you can go ahead and just check how many people are actually viewing it by per the performance. You can see the impressions. So again, guys, the impressions is how many times people actually saw the advertisement, and then this is how many times people actually clicked on the advertisement, okay? So there is a big difference between the two, okay? So uh, let me know if this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, if there's something that I missed out about the verification process, I'll go ahead and put the form and the um, like the uh, the pin verification in the description to give you guys more information about it because I get a lot of comments about people saying, oh, it's not verified, etc. cetera. Uh, there could be different reasons why it's it's really hard for me to uh, know what you're doing and, and you know finding out the reason. All right, so I'll put those in the description to help you guys out, okay? So make sure to like this video and I'll see you guys all later.